Hey friends. <clears throat> of course, as soon as I try to talk, my voice decides to get wonky. Uh, what is today? Well, it's Tuesday. Yeah. Kids are back in school. Um, so we started back homeschool yesterday, and that's we're rolling with it, aren't we? Yeah. What are you doing, darling? I'm getting a blanket. I'm she's getting a blanket. She's cold. So she's doing school. Jackson is done with school. He woke up at like seven and finished his um, early. He usually does that. Yeah. Today was supposed to be Will's day off. He got called into work at like 5:30 this morning, so that's fun. Um, it's cold. I'm cold. I just wanted to say hi when I start this. I don't know what we're doing today. Can we might go to Costco. Coffee? Can you make me coffee? Yeah, you can make me some coffee if you'd like. Do you remember how to do it? Uh, I think. Okay, she's gonna make me some coffee. Um, we might go to Costco today, depending on when Will gets home. Jackson usually doesn't like to go with us, and if I don't have to take him out in public, that's fine. Alice and I usually go and do a quick trip. I need a few things, not a lot, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I do okay. need some, what? Yes, I'm gonna cut that cantaloupe today. Yeah. There was no, there's really no room in the fridge, so when I cut it, we're gonna have to eat it. Um, I need goldfish crackers. I need chicken nuggets. I need frozen broccoli. I feel like I remember off the top of my head, so I don't need a lot, but I do need some things. Um, maybe I'll go to Starbucks later. Oh no, she's making me coffee now. I don't want too much coffee today. But that's kind of what's going on. I keep meaning to pick up the camera the last few days and vlog, and I just haven't. I just haven't had that like. We didn't really do much either, to be honest. Um, like yesterday, I woke up late, and Will wasn't feeling the best. He had just some stomach issues. And so it, strong? Uh, 10 ounce strong, please. Okay. Um, so I was gonna do it yesterday, and I didn't. I did record some cleaning clips from yesterday, mostly just in the kitchen. I think it's just dishes. And then Alice and I steam cleaned, well, she didn't, she wanted to. I steam cleaned the entire house um, okay, you're gonna have to wait just a minute because I have to fill it. I need to fill the curing back up. Um, we steam cleaned the kitchen, like the whole downstairs is all like vinyl flooring. So we did that and then I did the laundry room upstairs and both bathrooms upstairs and the bathroom down here. What? Can I tell them something? Yes. Um, our bathroom, mine and Jensen's up there by our room, um, it would barely move because of how much like dirt it was. Yeah, it was, the floor had, was apparently kind of even though I wash it <clears throat> and mop it and stuff, it was, um, ah, sorry, I'm using my gimbal. Um, it was, it was icky. Not the, like visually, but there must've been like dried like water or soap or something, I don't know. Um, so like when I, she's trying to say like when I first started mopping it, it was like dragging cause it was like trying to pick up all that crowd. Anyway, very satisfying. Did not record any of it cause it wasn't really interesting to watch, but uh, oh my! Clean. Yeah, my steam mop's upstairs still. Otherwise, I'd show it to you. What did I? Which one did I get? I don't have the box. I don't even know what I got. I will link it down below. It might have been like a Bissell. No, I don't think it was a Bissell. I don't know. I'll link it. It. I like it. It worked out good. I. It wasn't super expensive. It had good reviews. Um, so that's what I went with. But very satisfying to get all the floors steam mopped. Yes. Are we gonna do it today? Uh, I don't I do need to go over it again. Um, Can I oh, it is a Bissell because they have some of the stuff sitting here and it comes with scent discs. Can I um, help you with that And today? even though, so the thing was like black and you can't, probably can't see. Um, I washed it right afterwards and let it air dry and it's still like a little grungy looking so I might have to, it smells good though. Cause I accidentally left the scent disc in it when I washed it. Um, we got cookies from New York. Yes, she got cookies. They're very hard. I don't know why you're still eating them. They're good. They're not. They're not. They're they're too crunchy and too hard. I watch you as you dry. smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up all right friends we need to clean this table because it somehow always gets like perfect perfectly destroyed let's just call it that okay from, me. from her 
Um, so I told the kids we're gonna do like three minutes. We can definitely get it cleaned and things put away in three minutes. So are we ready? Yeah. Set. Jackson's not ready. He's over in the kitchen. I'm putting my mama. I'll set a timer. Okay, this. Allie's gonna set a three-minute timer on her watch. I can only do two. Okay, I think we can do it in two minutes. Let's do a two-minute cleanup. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. Set. Ready when I'm... One, two. Go. Go. And I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can we stay here? Voila. We'll get that in a second. That was a two minute for the table, which we a had plenty of time. A minute 27 seconds. Is that what it was? Uh-huh. All right. When I checked, it was it still had 33 seconds left. Now they're cleaning a mess on the floor. Jackson got a science kit for Christmas, and which we were super excited about, but like half the things in it were either missing ingredients or, or they not. just didn't work. Yeah. And so we got frustrated. We salvaged what we could out of it, and they're well, putting those pieces well, away. I may, have one of the things I may have just thrown part of a mobile that was supposed to be a solar system that just was not working, and gave up. And Jackson was like, "It's okay." <laughs> I didn't like throw it like me. It was just like I tossed it on the ground. Like I'm done. Um, but, I'm gonna make a mobile. Yeah. So she's not out of the planets, though, are you? I might. I don't know. She's gonna do something with the pieces from it, but it just was not working. Oh, my coffee. Yes. Um, put that tape away. Oh, this volcano piece over here. I don't know. We have like, what do you do with like little miscellaneous pe pieces of stuff? Because we have like a little volcano. She's so distracted today. So distracted today. <laughs> do you really know what that's like? Mm -mm. uh, so cool. We're just organizing and then she needs to get back to school because I don't think she's okay. done. He's making a skull out of air dry clay. Uh -huh. So that's what we're doing around here. Doing a little tried to do a little bit of science. But Didn't fail. work out the way we wanted it to, but that's all right. Allie, yeah. there's tape on the floor. And then I'm just gonna go over back here and fold blankets. Okay. They're they've been keeping their bean bags back. We can always that's awkward to do we that can on camera. Always mm -hmm. never do science again. <laughs> Always never do science again. I'm gonna wipe down. I did it. Alice said it took us how much? Three minutes and uh, six seconds. Three minutes Wait. and six seconds to clean off the floor. I didn't like set a timer. I didn't I didn't know that she had either. Um but apparently she had. So I'm just gonna fold some bags. Oh, I was talking about their beanbags. They've been keeping their beanbags that they got for Christmas down here, and it's a nice place for them to like either lay and watch movies oh, or see. read. I actually picked that tape up that I just kicked. Oh, uh yeah, so that's what's happening here. What do you think? Good. I feel better. I was getting anxious with the amount of stuff that was out on the table and the floor. Uh, which one of you wants to pick out a scent for the wax melt thing? Me. Okay, pick one out me, quickly. Me. Um, fun fact, I don't know if these are like uh, officially a good thing or not. The reviews were good. For Christmas, I got these little cups that go into your like the tray of your wax warmer, and they're reusable. They're like a thick cardboard-ish material. Um, I've used this one a few times, so it has some sediment in there, which is weird. Um, but yeah, they come in a 50 pack for ten dollars. I got them on Amazon. Can we use this tomorrow? Sure. Let's oh, pick one it's for standing. Today. It's standing. Uh, one of the kids picked it off of my Amazon wish list. So I'll leave a link I if did. you want to look into it, but it makes emptying out my wax melt tray so much, so much easier. Cause I was using cotton balls and prior to that, like you can put, pop it in the freezer and it pops out. I just, this is so much easier cause it doesn't burn my fingers to lift it up. I used to grab the tray and like pour it into the thing. I don't know, this is just the easiest method for me. So I'll leave a, link down below if you want to look into it for yourself like i said it comes in a 50 pack i'll probably change that one out soon i've used it multiple times already but i like them so yeah what do you get oh what'd you guys pick this one all right they picked out pumpkin apple muffins 
which is a Sensationals that I get from Walmart Mom, and Meyer. I went to go pull away my finger and then I scraped my finger on the... You trying to be like me? I guess so. You got a little... Did you just cut it? Yeah, I just cut it. You need to put it. it in front of the lens. Or, this is boring. I can't get it. Yeah. I cut myself on scissors last night. Ooh, see? And um, it was I dumb. I was putting badges on Alice's AHG vest. Mm -hmm. And I use Badge Magic. Oh, I need to order more of that. That does remind me. I use Badge Magic, which is like a double-sided adhesive that applies patches. Basically double-sided tape. Kind of, but it's it holds stronger. Um, I was doing that, but when you cut that out to the shape, like my scissors were getting sticky, so I was using a wet wipe to clean the blade of my scissors, and it slipped, and when I was rubbing back and forth to clean, I went pfft with my finger, and um, it just the, sliced it. The white, like, cut yeah. with the scissors. Yeah. So that was not fun. What you, oh, Allie's putting on some oils. That's the Eden's Garden Study Buddy is what she's rolling on. Yeah, smells show good. Them. Smells yummy. You can buy it. You can buy it, she says. Yeah, She'll you let can you. probably buy like a pack of Ooh, them. It like, doesn't want to. Like at Walmart. Ignore my horrible nails. I have a bad habit uh -huh. of chewing when I'm anxious. They, they can probably. Hello. Um, buy a pack of oils at like mile. This is from Amazon. I'll link Amazon. that too if you like it. It's one. It's part of the um, Eden's Garden Kids one. Oh, I just saw a dog outside. A I did not. Here you go. Put this back. And you need to do reading. And I'm gonna get her back on track. Um, but I had to clean because it was driving me nuts. She's talking about the gimbal. Um, she wanted to share with you guys what she's currently reading for her solo reading each day. She just finished. Sophie Mouse, the Emerald Berries. The can Emerald Berries? Yeah, can okay. I tell them kind of what it's about? Sure. The dishwasher is going in the background, so sorry if you guys hear that. So, um, she was running errands with her mom. Hey, you do that. At, like, the clothing store. Then she saw a dress that was like an emerald color mm -hmm. and she asked the store owner where she got it and she said that she got the coloring from um, emerald berries at the um, weed snack way. Oh, and she used that to color the dress? Yeah. Do you have something in your hair? Yeah, it's straw. You need a, <laughs> you need a shower. Um, so she finished that one and she still has some time left on her reading so oh. she's starting the, oh she wasn't done telling. And then, her and her friend, Hattie the Frog. Um, Hattie? Hattie. It's fine. H-A-T-T-I-E. Hattie. Hattie. Um, went on an adventure to find the emerald berries at Weed Snag Way. They heard a story about a little, like, chickmunk. Mm -hmm. Um, who got lost there when he was going and then they heard him rustling and they saw a big puppy tail and it was the school. Cool. So then he led him them to his house that was in a tree. Um then when he got up there he dropped down like a rope <laughs> so that they could climb it up. Fun. And then they got the babies and went back home. Cool. And told the Parents and little little, and now I'm gonna read Forget Me Not Lake. Forget Me Not Lake. You guys can buy these books too. Yeah. Like, you, you can get them at, probably at your local library. You're such a little, uh, uh, I don't know what the word I'm trying to think of. Is 65 an equal number? 65? Think about it. What's an equal number? Mm, five. Oh, no. You don't know? 
I said no. Oh, 65. No, it's not. Is 62 an equal number? E? Yes. Very good. But three is. No. All right. Unless go, you cut it in half. Go read. That was two minutes of you talking about books. Thank you. You just did a book what? report live on camera. Oh, she wants to show you the... What we're not reading. Yeah. We got these for Christmas. Yep, I told them that. And um, cuddling with Roger, please. All oh, the lighting's getting weird. Oh. She's cuddling. Jack's over here. Alright, I'm going to start your timer, okay? Easy, easy. Finish up. All right, so Alice is doing some night zookeeper, which we just, this week, <laughs> this is her first time really doing it, incorporated into our school day. Um, they'll do this a few times a week for like a half hour or so, but I think it was so cool. So right now she created an animal and now they're having her describe it. And for Christmas, she got this little USB or um, Bluetooth keyboard. So she's able to write. The animal looks like this. Yeah, oh, my battery's dying, so we need to hurry up. But so, Konia is a mammal that looks similar to a dog or a fox, but is as big as a bear, Do she I said. Do I hit enter? And then hit enter, yep. Okay, I see. Describe the shape of their body. Their body is, so it gives them prompts. This is a language arts program, but it incorporates like art. They get to create their own, like she created her own animal, she created her own zookeeper, like they can draw on the screen. So it's really fun and she's really enjoying it. Jackson hasn't sat down and done this part yet. He created his zookeeper, but that's about it. So their body is, you're gonna describe the shape. So what does it mean? What is the shape of um, Konia? Like an oval. Oval, okay. So their body is an oval. Oops, oh yeah, yeah you can do that, is oval. Yeah, do you know how to spell oval? Take a guess. Oval, close. A-L. Their body is oval. What do they have coming off the back of their body? A tail. What kind of tail is it? Squiggly. Squiggly tail. Okay. So their body is oval with a squiggly tail. All they can see on camera is your screen. She's trying to show you something silly. So their body is oval with a squiggly tail. And then maybe think about their legs and their paws, because remember what they said about the paws? Oh, you did, oh, squ squiggly, you're doing good. But one more G. There you go. No E. Just E? Nope, take the E off and put a Y. Squiggly, and what type, there's two ways to spell tail. Which one is an animal tail? Very good. Their body is oval with a squiggly tail and long legs, short legs. So I'm kind of helping her with the prompts until she kind of gets the hang of it. But super fun if you have kids. This is a great program from what I can from what I can tell. A butterfly starts as an egg and then turns into a caterpillar. It becomes a pupa, wrapped up, wrestling and grooming. Finally, it becomes a butterfly. Okay, so what's your question for your reading? Based on the text, write two ways that frogs and butterflies are alike. Okay, so they're pretty different. We know that, right? Mm -hmm. So what are two ways that they're alike? Hmm. Frogs start out as what? An egg. Okay, butterflies start out as what? An egg. Is that the same or different? Same. That is the same. They both start out as an egg. Right? Is that what it says? Yeah. Or does a frog start out as a cat? A, is it an egg? Based on the text, right? Like. Yep, they both start as eggs. <laughs> egg, egg. But where do I want, have to write it? Do yeah. I have to write it in both places? Nope, just that's one fact. So they want you to write two ways they're alike. So the first way is start it. Um, use a full sentence, please. They both start as an egg, would be a full sentence, um, correct? If y'all are wondering what we're working on, this is the Daily Fundamentals book for third grade. Can you show them a cover real quick? I know you're writing. There's no eraser on there. It's okay. I'm watching you do the assignment. I know what you're doing. So it is the Evan Moore Daily Fundamentals. Um, we've taken to just calling it Daily Fund around here. But they do one page a day. It breaks it down into language, math, math and reading. Okay. So it's just a little blurb. 
and it follows the curriculum of what they're doing anyway which is kind of nice so i believe it's like common core but um yeah so we're gonna work on this together jackson's insisting that you what to teach my mother how to play minecraft he wants to teach me the basics of minecraft he says so uh we just got done doing his daily fundamentals together kind of walked through those my goal going forward is to spend um more one-on-one -on -one time where's too bright more one-on-one -on -one time with the kids while they're doing their schoolwork um because they both finished up three classes at the end of like before christmas and then we went on a three-week break so we use power homeschool which is an online curriculum and they were taking math language arts science what else ecology like a health class there was one more thing. There were six classes. I'm missing um, one. Oh, oh. Social studies. And so before Christmas, they both finished their year, second grade and third grade level of social studies, the like health class that they took, and the ecology class. So they only have math, science, and That's language arts left. Oh, I'll show them in just a minute. I did it. Um, so that leaves, that frees up a lot of time during our school day to squeeze other, to fit other things in. So that's why I've added the Night Zookeeper, which Alice loved. Yeah, Jackson hasn't done it yet. Always, yeah. But my goal is to do like an hour or so one-on-one -on -one with each kid, and I know that's pretty common with a homeschool situation. Um, sorry for the glare on my glasses. Around here, they do a lot of independent stuff, but I need to be held more accountable um, and getting more involved than I am. So... Like I said, my goal is to do the one-on-one. -on -one. So Jackson likes to wake up early, and Alice likes to sleep in. So our goal is to do what, Jack? Um, me and my mom are going to wake up tomorrow at 8.30, I insisted. To... I like to sleep in, so 8.30 is, like, well, still early for well, me. That's, well, would you rather wake up at 6? No, no, 8.30 is fine. <laughs> so I'm going to wake up at 8.30 with Jackson and let Alice sleep, because Alice likes to sleep, so do I. Um, and I'll have some quiet time in the morning with just I him. I sleep. You always wake up early, much, though. No. Jackson is like, he would stay up late and wake up early. Um, so he, of course, he doesn't get much sleep. I mean, he does. He gets an adequate amount, but he definitely is an, is an earlier bird than the rest of us. So I'll get up with him tomorrow. We'll do his one-on-one -on -one stuff. I'm going to walk him through the night zookeeper and show him how the program works. Um. And then, he's an early owl. He's an early owl. And then I'm going to wake up with this little bug. She just made a mobile of the solar system. Um, Mama couldn't do it. That's the one that, That's the one that I got frustrated with this morning and tossed to the side because the string that they gave in the kit just wasn't working. So Alice got out some of her crafting string and tape. And she's been working on this for like the past hour. And uh, apparently I'm better at some things than mama is oh yeah for sure she had more pa she has more patience with stuff like that so alice will get to sleep in tomorrow while i work with jack and then i will oh, wake her up and have the time with her feet. i'm not gonna rub your feet but jackson is wanting to teach me about minecraft so we're having a little mother-son bonding will is still at work he's probably gonna be there a while it is almost five o'clock i don't even know if i'm cooking like a real dinner tonight the kids just asked for peanut butter and jelly sandwich well jack had a pb and j alice had um toast pb and j well no she had butter and jelly on toast um i haven't even eaten i'm not even hungry yet life is weird man i don't know like i would love to have that perfect system where everyone gets up at the same time and we have three meals a day but that just doesn't happen I can't be the only one who like feeds their kids toast I for dinner wake sometimes. Up and get I can't. Like 60 meals every day. <laughs> so I don't know. Like, I feel sometimes like I'm doing it all wrong and that we don't have, but my kids are happy and we're, I just, I don't know. It's that mom guilt thing. So I was gonna make, um, what was I making? Like a shepherd's pie sort of thing. It's called cowboy pie skillet, something from every plate. I might still make it because Will's definitely gonna be hungry when he gets home. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll still make it. What? It's okay. Alice just joined the game on her iPad. It's okay. Let her join, okay? What? What's the problem, sir? She sometimes ruins everything. She does not ruin everything. Alice found a fox. Okay. Um, I'm gonna learn some Minecraft stuff. I eliminate foxes. <laughs> what? 
Alice <laughs> likes to find all the animals and like put them in a fence and pet them. Sometimes. Jackson walks around and just wants to like eat them. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean you have to kill them one day. Yeah. No, I'm not. All right, so we're gonna have a little fun together. It's been a good day. I almost it's been bad. a good day. I feel good. So, kids are showered. We're winding down the night, aren't I we? I used my purple shampoo. She used her purple shampoo. I have her use that like every other wash, basically, to keep the brassiness out of her blonde hair. She's got her little hair towel on. She got that for Christmas. And I forgot about it. Usually I have to help her put that on, but she came down all by herself, and it, she had done a really good job. I showered with the door closed. The door closed, yeah. And the fan on. Ooh, I just got a text from Daddy. Ooh, Daddy's on his way home. What are we having for dinner? That's a good question. I might order out because it's already 6.30. Let's order pizza. I don't know if I want pizza. There's a pizza in the freezer I can cook. Oh, daddy's calling. All right, I gotta let our friends go. We got a new scale. Will setting it up. It's Bluetooth or Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi. The, the Bluetooth scales, you actually actively have to have your phone out and on you when you're yeah. weighing yourself, which weighing yourself and you're trying not to wear a ton of clothes and be you probably don't have your phone with you <laughs> or if you're like me I weigh before I get in the shower so I don't have anything with me anyway we got a new scale because on like the first of the year I was like I'm gonna start this year off right um, I went to a step on the scale and it was broken they had water damage they had leaked in we had an old Aria Fitbit uh, scale from when I used to have <laughs> Fitbit so anyway we bought a new one. I think you had that, I think I got you that scale before you even had a Fitbit. I don't think so. I think I had the Fitbit and then you bought me the scale for like Valentine's Day, which is, sounds like a horrible thing, oh, but I actually wanted it. I wanted it, so don't, it's not like, I love you, you're fat. <laughs> no. Um, Alice is doing dishwasher. She's unloading. Can I do something? No. Why are you? Okay, bye. Uh, they're having pizza. I said I might order out, and I did. I just ordered Mexican food for Will and I. Since the scale doesn't work, I figured it probably doesn't matter what I eat, right? Isn't that how that works? I'm a horrible, horrible person. It never rings in California The sun is always shining bright People are smiling, making plans, hiding behind their shades, and you're doing the same. No rain, no flowers, nothing's growing where you're at. Heart is fire, but baby, I bet you're cold without me, even when it's 90 degrees. Without me, I bet that you can get in. In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold You're so damn cold It never rings in California The sun is always shining bright but if the sky would open up You're staying home, you don't get out You always used to love the rain But LA changed you No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where your heart is fire But baby, I bet you're cold Without me, even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get in Lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold You're so damn cold I bet you're cold You're so damn cold No rain, no flowers Nothing's growing where your heart is fire But baby, I bet you're cold Without me, even when it's 90 degrees Without me, I bet that you can get in the sleep In the bed, lying awake Cause I'm not there beside you Keeping you warm and I know I bet you're cold California. 
The sun is always shining right Kidding, but your butt is dirty. Shush, I'm recording. She's it doesn't beep anymore. No, it doesn't beep anymore. Check your what? Check the weather on my scale. Yeah, is this the one that has the weather built in? Why does the scale have the weather built in? One of the reviews that I read on it, the guy was like, that was one of the features that I thought was the dumbest thing imaginable. And then it's become my favorite thing because apparently he gets up, weighs himself in the morning, and then and he knows what the weather is. Immediately see the that way, when you get dressed, you know what to wear. Um, kids are having a pizza because that's what they requested. <laughs> Will and I, I ordered some burritos for us and a um, what's the word quesadilla to share as an appetizer. Since neither of us ate today, he when he got up to go to work, since it was technically his day off, I was like, "Do you want me to make you a lunch?" And he said, "No." So all he's had is a Boston cream honey bun thing, like a tasty cake and a energy drink. So we're gonna give him some real food. He's going to set the scale up, do his Japanese, and eat and go to bed. Start it all over again at what time? What day is tomorrow? Wednesday? Did you go in early? Early? Wednesday. No. Oh, he has a normal start time of 4 a.m. I am the. All right, food is here, and the kids' pizza just came out of the oven. Alice has requested a salad with hers. Jackson's gonna have some cantaloupe. So, Will's in the shower. I haven't opened ours yet, so I'm gonna keep it warm in the bags and boxes until he comes up. I'll show you that in a minute. I haven't even looked to see what it is. We ordered from a restaurant that is very highly rated by some of my friends, and we've never eaten there before. Mexican is like, aside from lasagna, lasagna is my favorite food in the world, I think. I always say that's my, that's like my favorite comfort food, but like sushi is up there. But Mexican food is just, I don't think I've ever had bad Mexican food. I lie, I have. But Mexican food is like my heart. Anyway, trying a new restaurant, very excited. Um, I'm gonna make Alice a little salad and get the kids' plates ready and then hopefully we'll be down in just a few minutes so that we can eat as well. It is, I want to go look at my watch and it's not on. Um, it is 7.36 right now, so much later than we usually eat dinner. Um, so we're gonna eat and then have a little bit of downtime and then get in bed at a decent time, but I'm gonna make the salad real quick. Y'all, this food, okay? I ordered Will the biggest burrito they had because he's a man and he didn't eat today. And he's he hungry. likes food. This thing is huge. This is burrito. You got sour cream and some toppings over here. Um, it didn't come with rice and beans because the rice and beans are in it. Babe, look here. This is your burrito. And I'm a big boy. Is that the starter burrito? Is that the starter burrito? He said, this is my burrito. It's a shredded chicken something. I do have a side of rice and beans and my toppings are in here and their own box for some reason. Like and then I did get that quesadilla for us to munch on. This is not what I was expecting. Look at this quesadilla. It's like a puffy, I don't know. But this is um, a lot of calories and I'm going to enjoy it because I now have a scale that tells me how bad I've been. And before I get comments, what, you watch me maneuver my gimbal? I didn't realize you could hit record from the screen. Yeah, that's new on this one, I think. Um, before I get comments about, oh, you don't need a scale, because yes, there's that mindset. Um, I don't base like my worth on my weight. Obviously, I'm a chubby, happy mother and wife. But I do need to lose some weight because of my health issues, and the scale helps me monitor that. And that one has like bone density and like all sorts of stuff on it. I don't know, Will was pretty impressed. You don't want to be on camera because you're half naked. I mean, probably. <laughs> um, he just took a shower, so he's just wearing gray sweatpants. Yeah, ladies. Um, <laughs> I 
I'm gonna go eat some dinner. I'm actually gonna close this out. I'm, I've been editing as I go today, so like I'll record, put it on the computer, edit, so I'm pretty much caught up other than the last few clips. So I'm gonna edit that and get this up for you tonight. So this is, this is pretty much like almost live today. Twitch.tv. <laughs> Twitch.tv, yeah, I'm live. Pay Money Webby always says that he's live and we'll go look and he's not live. Okay. Thanks for watching. Drop a comment, share some love. I'll be vlogging, vlogging again tomorrow. I have some things to share for homeschool that I'm very excited about. So stay tuned for that. Good night. Until next time, we will see you later. I forgot what I was going to say. Bye.